Hello, welcome to my project, which this semester I'm trying something new called Drawing El Salvador, and let's just see how this goes. So I chose to research El Salvador this semester because my obsession with the Duggar family of 19 kids and counting, yes 19 you heard me right, led me to choose El Salvador because they frequently go on missions trips there and watching their service in that country has inspired me to learn about El Salvador. I'm going to start with location, and most people know that it is located in Central America, and like as far as coordinates, it is 14 degrees north and 89 degrees west. And then here I am trying to draw a map, and I'm just going to apologize in advance, this did not turn out the way I planned for it to be, but yeah, ouch. Please ignore the fact that I completely butchered Guatemala and Honduras, but yeah, some surrounding countries are Guatemala and Honduras, which border it, and then you can also see, like, Belize and Mexico and Nicaragua. The population of El Salvador is 6,125,512. And then El Salvador has two official languages, which is, one is Spanish, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this project, and the other one is some language called Nahua. Now we're going to talk about size, and as far as like total size, it is 21,041 square kilometers, and out of that, 20,721 is land, which leaves 320 kilometers for water. Now let's talk about some major imports, which include fuels, and that's my poor drawing of a gas can. I didn't have any yellow, so I couldn't make it very realistic. And then, like, foodstuffs, I'm not sure what that means, but let's just go with it. Petroleum, and that's me trying to draw a container of petroleum jelly, because that's just what I thought of. And electricity, and I think that's it. And then exports goes hand in hand with imports, which is obvious, but whatever. And some major exports are coffee, sugar, that is a sugar thing, if that wasn't obvious, textiles slash apparel, gold, ethanol, chemicals, electricity, and iron. The next thing is like main attractions in El Salvador, and the first one I'm going to talk about is El Boquero National Park, I hope I pronounced that right, and it is actually located on the top of the San Salvador volcano, and obviously the volcano wouldn't be active because they have stuff on it, but I just drew one anyway. And the main attraction in that is like a crater and it is five kilometers in diameter and 558 meters deep which sounds wicked big and there's me trying to model it if you couldn't tell and then now I'm drawing some plants because there are some plants found there which include like cartuchos, hydrangeas, and begonias I hope I pronounced those right and there is also some like animal wildlife there, which includes armadillos, and that is my very poorly drawn armadillo. He's saying hi. Raccoons. Deer. And foxes.
The next attraction is El Monumento al Divino Salvador del Mundo, and that translates to Monument to the Divine Savior of the World. It is located in San Salvador, the capital city. It was built in 1942. And then here I am trying to draw the monument, which is basically like a stone thing with a cross and then a globe, and that's supposed to be Jesus on top of the world. Next is the Casa Presidencial and that's like the presidential house or basically the equivalent to the US White House and it refers to the president's official re residence and his offices. And now I'm trying to draw it because this wouldn't be drawing El Salvador if I wasn't drawing stuff. I forgot to zoom in on this part, but just bear with me. And now I'm going to talk about famous people, and I'm starting with Mexico Gonzalez. And he is a soccer player, or as they call it, football. And here I am trying to draw him. Yes, I can draw a running soccer player, but not an armadillo. Feel free to judge me. The next person is Sarah Hadland, and she is an actress, and of course I'm going to draw her too. And here is another soccer player. I think that name would be pronounced Jaime, or Jamie if you're American, but Jaime Alice, and I'm drawing him too. Next is a guy called Mariko Funes, or Funes, and he is a politician. And here is another politician named Antonio Saka, or Saka. The next topic is money, and those are dollar signs, obviously, and the currency there is El Salvador Colon, which is abbreviated SVC. The exchange rate there is 0 .1144, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, and yep. Here's some important history, and I'm going to keep this brief. So they got their independence from Spain in 1821, and then they got their independence again from Central American Federation in 1839, and then they had a 12-year-long civil war, which lasted from 1980 to 1992, and it costed them 75,000 lives and ended in a treaty that made way for military and political reforms. The president's name is Salvador Sanchez Serran, and of course I'm drawing him. Now I'm going to attempt to draw the flag, and I knew if I drew it in perfect detail, since it is a pretty detailed flag, you wouldn't be able to see it very well because of the low camera quality. So basically I'm just drawing blobs of color where like more specific stuff is. That's all folks, thanks for watching my project for Spanish 3, which was on El Salvador.